Hello, once more, welcome back to the 2024 Big Ten predictions here for week number 11 after going 5 and 3. In week 10, my personal season record is now 77 and 27 on the year. With a few wins, with only three wins, correct picks this week, I'll get above 80 correct picks for the season. So let's get on in to the week 11 predictions right now. Starting out with the Friday night game in the Rose Bowl tomorrow night, UCLA versus Iowa. Coming in, UCLA coming off a big win. Last week, 27-20 at Nebraska, and even though they're at the bottom of the Big Ten this year in the first season, they've found strides last week, winning 27-20. Iowa last week picked up a big win, 42-10 to against the Wisconsin Badgers. The game I was at, if you saw the videos, I'll beat the game tomorrow night as well. I'm not sure when I'll have videos from tomorrow night's game, so hopefully stay tuned for those, if necessary, for when I post them. So hit that notification button below. Talking about this matchup, Iowa has not won a game against the Rose Bowl since 1959. I'll tell you a little story. I'll tell you that here real quick. I wasn't even born in 1959, last time Iowa played at the Rose Bowl. I think that might have been a regular season game against UCLA, or it might have been the actual Rose Bowl game itself. But I'll find out real quick. But looking at this matchup on paper, first time as Big Ten opponents. UCLA and Iowa, it's going to be a tough matchup overall. I think for Iowa, having to go out west, no, they shouldn't go out west. But we've had two teams that have gone out there this year to win at the, the Rose Bowl in the Big Ten. Indiana won 42 to 10 way back in September. And then also the and also Minnesota won 21-17 there. And that game was 19 it might have been 1958 season. I know I still okay, 1958 was when it was. It was 1958. They beat California 38 to 12. Their last, last few appearances been out there. I was lost. So 1959 was the last time. It's gonna be a tough game. I think it's gonna be one of those games. You know, Iowa coming in with a backup quarterback, Brendan Sullivan, who's played real well last week, making big plays and doing things. And UCLA with their team that hasn't had a good season. I think it's gonna be interesting to see how Iowa and their offense can do. Caleb Johnson, I think, might get a few touchdowns. We'll see if he does. I think Iowa can move and get a win. If UCLA can stop him, which it might be interesting to see. It is homecoming for UCLA, though. I think Iowa comes away with this one tomorrow night, though. So we're the Hawkeyes here in the tomorrow night's matchup against the Bruins of UCLA. Moving on. Next matchup. We have the Minnesota Golden Gophers. They're going to Rutgers on a Saturday Afternoon, Saturday morning, early Saturday afternoon. As they go to Rutgers, a game that's going to be on Peacock, Minnesota. They're in the middle of the pack. Rutgers near the bow, near the bottom half as well. Two teams near the bottom of the Big Ten. They're trying to break up. These two teams are, and it's going to be interesting to see what this matchup. Rutgers, Minnesota, they've had a tough season. Rutgers also had a tough season going into this year. It's going to be interesting to see Rutgers playing at home against Minnesota. I think it's going to be... Can Rutgers stop Minnesota's playing style and play yet with them for the whole 90 minutes? And I think it's possible that they do. So here for that, get for the whole hour here. With that being said, I do think Rutgers gets a win. And so they're playing at home against Minnesota. We will see what happens with Gophers, two teams that are having a hard season. And I'm going to go with the home team this week with Rutgers. So we'll see what happens. Moving on. This next one. Purdue, the worst team in the Big Ten. Traveling to Columbus to take on the Buckeyes. Ohio State Buckeyes coming off a big win last week against Penn State. They're now number two, I saw, in the country while they play Purdue. Seeing the college football playoff after being Penn State in matchup number four, three versus number four. And Ohio State stays in it with one loss this year. So it should be pretty interesting to see overall. Ohio State now controls their own destiny. With that loss to Oregon, doesn't help them, but they do have Indiana next week. They have Purdue this week. Purdue's going to be a tough team for them to beat, I think, to get a win. And they're going to have to play well to get a win this week against Purdue. Because if, the, if they can play well this week, which I think they will, I do think Ohio State capitalizes on the win against Penn State. I do think they can win again. Purdue, being a bad team, I don't think they're going to do well this week. But I do th think Ohio State gets a win at home to stay in the Big Ten title and to stay in the Big Ten championship game hunt. So we'll see what happens there. Moving on, next up. We have the Michigan Wolverines. 
They're traveling to Bloomington to play the unbeaten 9-0 Indiana Hoosiers. Indiana coming off a big win last week by a score of 47-10 to against Michigan State on the road. This week they have the Wolverines. Michigan this year has been one of those teams in the Big Ten that has had a hard season, a tough year. We can say this about a defending national championship team and a team with a first-year head coach in Sheryl Moore, the head coach who was offensive coordinator last year, who went 6-0 and in interim role, the 3 in interim capacity, doing what he came this year to get a win, but not playing well this season. For Indiana, they're coming in 9-0, and playing at home tomorrow night, playing on Saturday. Should be an interesting game to see, I think. Does Indiana remain unbeaten to get to 10 0 Do they get a win against Michigan? I think Michigan's going to test Indiana this week. So it's going to be a test for Mich Indiana to see if they can get to 10 I think Indiana, at the end of the day, gets the win, but I think it's going to be close. So give me the Hoosiers here on Saturday as well. So I do think they get to 10 0 Moving on. It is the Oregon Ducks, the other 9 0 team in Big Ten. And Maryland, the Maryland Terps. Maryland comes in, playing against Oregon this week. Oregon, the other remaining 9-0 team in the Big Ten, just like Indiana. Can they get a win here this week? Overall, they're playing home. They had a one close game against Ohio State earlier this year. This time they're playing Maryland, who has to travel all the way out west to play on Saturday. It's going to be another one of those games that's going to be interesting overall. Another tough matchup for Maryland. For, Ohio, for Oregon, I think it's going to be an easy win as I do think they get to 10 to keep their quarterback, Dylan Gabriel, in the Heisman race to win the Heisman Trophy this year. So give me the Ducks here on Saturday at the afternoon with a win, as I do think the Ducks continue their streak of improbable wins. Last game, but not least, we have the Penn State Nittany Lions coming off their first loss. They have the Huskies of Washington coming to town. Washington, one of those teams, they've lost at Iowa. They've lost at Indiana. Two games they have to travel to the Central Time Zone and the Eastern Time Zone. This time again, they have to travel back to the Eastern Time Zone for the fourth time this season and third time to the Eastern Time Zone this year. Fourth time overall having to travel out to this different time zone. And they're playing Penn State in a game under the lights, which should be fairly interesting. Penn State coming off a loss to Ohio State. I think Washington can be coming and play hard. Washington had a one close game against the team. That was against Rutgers way back when. They lost in the last second. So, looking at this matchup here, Penn State playing at home against Washington. Can Washington can get a stake in another game out east? Or will they be beaten up by a lot of points again for a third time? I think Penn State gets I think Penn State gets a rebound matchup they won't look for. And I think the Penn State Indian Lions get a big win playing at home on Saturday night. So give me Penn State at home Saturday night in primetime against Washington. We'll see what happens. Those are the five games this week in the week. 11 Big Ten predictions. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you right back here next Thursday for the week 12 predictions for the Big Ten. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Stay safe and peace out. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now, everyone. Let me know what to do. See ya.